Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will discuss about sections of solid problem. Here we need to do sectional front view and true shape of the section. First, initially take the given data. After that, we will do these diagrams. Okay, here the given solid is cone. So, for example, cone. The, I am taking cone here. Here the base is circle, and here one apex will be there. Okay, roughly I did the diagram here. This is the center of the solid. This is the apex. The distance between center of the circle to the apex is known as axis or height of the solid. Let us take the data initially. A cone of base diameter 50 mm. As I told, this is a circular one. The diameter is 50 mm and axis 60 mm. Height of the cone is 6 cm or 60 mm. It is resting on its base on the HP. HP means horizontal plane. The base is resting on the HP. Just whatever given data is there, I have written here. Now we have to keep this cone on the horizontal plane like this. Okay, roughly I am doing here. Let us assume this is a horizontal plane. We are keeping the cone like this. Okay. Now after that, it is cut by a section plane. So here we are taking one cutting plane. Okay. Whose HT is inclined at 60 degrees to the reference line. And passes through a point 15 mm from the axis. HT means here we are taking the cutting plane two ends. This end is H, this end is T. Okay, this is a cutting plane. Now, here it is inclined at 60 degrees to the reference line. The same thing I have written here. It is inclined at 60 degrees to reference line. That is XY line. And also passes through a point 15 mm away from the axis. Same thing I have written here. Okay. Now, what we are doing with this cutting plane? We are taking the solid. Okay. And we are cutting the cone. Okay. This cutting plane is tilting the angle how much it is 60 degrees to the line reference line also one more condition is there this cutting plane is 15 mm away from the axis so if you are taking this is the axis okay the distance between this axis and this cutting plane is 15 mm this gap is 15 mm now here we need to do the sectional front view if you are cutting the cone how the front view is looking and also we have to find the true shape of the section okay here we are cutting the cone in this direction like this with the help of cutting plane okay. initially we will do the projections of the solid if you are keeping the solid from the top you we can see the circle okay so let us do the circle here what is the diameter of circle 50 mm okay roughly i am doing here this is 50 mm and do the projector lines at the opposite ends okay and uh, do the front view in the front view we can see the entire height of the solid it is looking like triangle Okay, what is the height of the solid? 60 mm. So, on the axis line, from this point, take 60 mm gap. Okay, it is the axis line. So, it is 60 mm. This line here, join these ends to this apex. Apex I am taking O1 dash. Now, this is the front view of the solid. This is the top view. Initially, we will do the projections of the solid. After that, we will take the cutting plane position. Okay. So let us do the XY line reference line of any length. Okay, after that we will do these diagrams by using drawing instruments. Let us do the XY line of some length. Mark X and Y. Here do the view of the cone. It is a circle. As you know, circle diameter is 50 mm. Take the radius is 2.5 cm by using compass. Here radius is 2.5 cm. Now take any one of the point is the center, do the circle. Mark this center is O. Here divide this circle into 12 equal divisions. Okay. Here how to divide any circle into 12 divisions means here angle at the center of any circle is 360 degrees. Divide this 360 into 12 equal divisions. Each division is 30 degrees. Okay. So mark 30 degrees equal divisions. Initially, take this is the reference line, this bigger diameter. So, initially, starting is 0, 0 to 30 degrees. 30 to 30 means 60. 60 plus 30 means 90. 90 plus 30 means 120. 120 plus 30 means 150. 150 plus 30 means 180. Okay. Join all these points to the center within this circle. Mark the intersection points. This point is A. This is the top view. Do the front view. For doing the front view, we have to do the projectile lines from all these points. Okay. As you know, projectile lines means 90 degrees lines. 
thin lines take this is the reference line move the scale do the projector line here e and i are coming on the same line similarly f and h both are coming on the same line next at g point similarly do this side also projector lines Now mark these points also here. For A in top view small letter, for front view we are marking A dash. Here B and L are coming at the same point. B dash, L dash. Here C dash, K dash. Here D dash, J dash and O dash are coming here. Here E dash, I dash. Here F dash, H dash. Here last point is G dash. Okay. Do the front view. As I told, in the front view we can see this triangular size and we can see the entire height. The height as we know it is 60 mm given value. So this is center line is the axis line. So on this line take 6 cm height. Here mark the end point. Do the line here. Here I am not taking axis line because axis and these points are coinciding on the same lines. That's why it is a continuous line. Now this is the apex, I am marking O1 dash, join all these points to the apex, these are the slant edges, okay. After that, take the cutting plane position, here the cutting plane is tilting 60 degrees to the reference line as well as it is at a distance of 15 mm from the axis. Now this is a cone, now this is a cutting plane like this. This distance is 15 mm. Here we are getting one inclined cutting plane. Okay, like this. And this distance is 15 mm. And this is tilting 60 degrees to the XY line. Okay. Now here initially we had to take this distance 15 mm. Okay, how to take the 15 mm distance? Using compass take 1.5 cm radius. Okay. And O as center. Just do an arc here. Okay, of some length. Now this gap is 15 mm, okay. Now here for this arc, we have to do one tangent, okay, which is tilting 60 degrees. And this gap is 15 mm. For doing 60 degrees line, initially take any one of the point here, okay. At this point, take 60 degrees line. Take the angle 60 degrees. Here it is coming, okay. Now join this point to this point. We will get 60 degrees line. Okay, this is the reference line. Here we have to take the line parallel to this 60 degrees line. Okay. So this is 60 degrees line. Move the scale up to this arc. Okay. Wherever it is touching, it is touching at this point. Okay. To this arc. So at this point, do the tangent. Tangent means it is nothing but cutting plane. So cutting plane we are doing two big lines with a dot. Like this. Okay. It is nothing but a cutting plane. Okay, now mark the end points H and T. Now extend this line and uh, do the angle. Okay. Now this angle is 60 degrees. Keep the arrows. Now here remove this line. This is a reference line. Okay. This cutting plane is cutting at these points. Intersection point. Here initially one point. Here on this slant edge one point. Here one point. Here one point. And here one point. So mark the intersection points. Okay. So on the circle, I am taking this initial point is P point, small p here. On OA, the intersection point is Q point, P, Q, and here at this point, R, small r. So at this point, yes. Okay. At this point, it is small t. Okay. P, Q, R, S, T are the intersection points in the top view. So mark these points in the front view also. Okay. So for getting the points in the front view, just do the projectile lines like we did previously. Okay. So at P, do the projector line. Initially take where is P point. P is on the circumference of this circle. It is between A and K. Okay. So extend this P point between A and K. Okay. Here A dash, K dash. Just extend this line in this 
length so take this is the reference line at p point do the projector line mark this intersection point is p dash okay carefully mark the points now after that mark the q point where is q point on oa okay extend this q point up to oa this is oa okay now here take this is the reference line move the scale at q do the line up to oa okay now this intersection point is q dash after q mark r point where is r point on ob okay so at r do the projector line up to ob up to ob here okay so take this is the reference line any vertical line is a reference line at r do the projector line up to ob now i am taking this is r dash after r mark s point okay where is s point on oc okay extend this s projector line up to oc take any one of the vertical line is a reference line move the scale up to s do the projector line okay this point is s dash okay after marking s mark t where is t point between c and d okay so between c and d means here in this gap now extend the projector line take this is a vertical line take this is a reference line move the scale up to t do the projector line up to this line okay this is t dash now we have marked p dash q dash r dash s dash and t dash now if you join all these points by using free hand curve we will get the cutting portion of the solid in the front view let us do by using free hand curve now here this cutting plane is cutting this portion okay make this part should be light color compared to the other part of the circle here also a is coming this side okay now wherever a is coming here this portion should be in light color now after that join p dash q dash r dash s dash t dash by using free hand curve this portion is a cutting part in the cone okay make this part should be hashed section for getting hashed section we have to do the 45 degrees lines okay for doing 45 degrees line take any one of the 45 degrees line is a reference line at this point i am taking 45 degrees line join this point to this point we will get 45 degrees line okay this is a reference line okay move the scale within this area for getting the 45 degrees parallel lines okay just do the lines here this is a sectional front view we have to do the true shape of the section also for getting the true shape of the section we have to see this cutting portion in this direction okay this direction is 90 degrees to the cutting plane okay that's why at all these points do the lines okay perpendicular to the cutting plane okay at initially p point do the 90 degrees line okay take 90 degrees point join this point to p point okay in this direction similarly at all the points do the perpendicular lines do the parallel lines here okay so at our point at s point and then at t point here we have to take one more reference line okay so this reference line is parallel to this line take this is the reference line move the scale after some gap of this diagram take one more reference line so x1 y1 is a new reference line here in the side mark all these points p q r s t okay so initially mark p point okay this is p dash point here initially mark this p dash point okay where is p dash on the x y line okay whatever line is passing through p okay take the intersection point of this projector line and reference line so instead of p dash i am marking this is p1 dash okay p dash is on the reference line initial point p1 dash is also on the new reference line after marking p point mark q okay where is q point so from the reference line okay on the same projector line of q take this distance okay from the reference line to q point 
by using compass okay mark this distance on the same projectile line q projectile line from the new reference line okay take this point is the intersection point mark q point here okay this point is instead of q dash i am taking q1 dash yeah after marking q point mark r point so where is r point on the same projectile line from xy line take this distance by using compass so from the refer new reference line wherever r projectile line is coming from this new reference line then mark r okay it is r1 dash after getting r mark s point so where is s point on the same projectile line from xy line take this point as a center okay from this point to yes from xy line so on the same projectile line from this reference line mark s point instead of s dash i am taking s1 dash after s mark t point where is t point on the reference line okay on the same projectile line okay so take this point is a intersection point on the reference line okay it is t1 dash now join all these points by using freehand curve now this is a true shape of the section so do the hashed lines 45 degrees line for getting the 45 degrees line here take one 45 degrees line for the reference okay at this point i will take 45 degrees take any one of the point at this point take 45 degrees okay here take angle 45 now join this point to this point take this is a reference line move the scale within this area and do the parallel lines now this is a true shape of the section in the shortcut form i am writing ts now after getting the sectional front view and true shape of the section mark the given dimension this diameter of the base is 50 mm and the height of the pyramid is 60 mm and mark the cutting plane angle 60 degrees and here the distance between axis to the cutting plane it is 15 mm this is the method of finding the sectional front view and true shape of the section the other videos of sections of solids video link i will give in description box please check it if you like this lecture hit the like button subscribe my channel and share with your friends